Hello, Kelly. Uh, this will be some uh, cumulative feedback for you on both the uh, web banner and the print ad. And I'm glad you got things in. Um, I'll try to catch up on grading uh, as soon as possible and um, know that I won't consider you late. Uh, Callie, this is exemplary um, in the way that your file is structured, <clears throat> and I can turn things on or off at will. Um, your images were not Im embedded, they were linked, so these are only screen approximations. Um, as it is, you know, you, you, have, you would have to submit your high-res images along with the Illustrator file. If you embed them, that's not necessary, and the file becomes self-contained. But nonetheless, um, let me talk about the design a little bit. I like your uh, ingredients. I like your arrangement of them. You might consider varying the scale um, just to relieve the, I mean, it's not monotonous certainly, but um, contrast to scale is one of the ways that you can enliven a composition, if I can get to work here. And <clears throat> By that I mean maybe these circles could be uh, variously shaped and perhaps, you know, randomly or more randomly uh, placed. Let's see. Oh, I see there. Oh, I see. That's how you've gotten your borders. Um, I think, too, that, you know, you know maybe that's more interesting um, or perhaps maybe no <coughs> border or background at all. Just think about using the edge to um, object. Let me do it this way. There's several ways to scale something. One of them is using the dialog box. Here I'm going to just make it uh, you know it may not appeal to you but I think a, a more random arrangement might be good. And then the other thing too, I'm not you know I've never been a fan of the logo um, but in lieu of anything else I think it's you know it's, it's okay. I, I like the the um, logo, if it's on a solid that maybe bleeds, be careful of the edge, of course, um, you know, allow ample margin. And for that reason, I think it's because of the edge. If I can unmute this, um, I don't, I would rather use the version of the logo without, of course, it needs more contrast, but here, here we go. Here's the version of the logo that I think um, I would use. That's not in the box. Again, um, you need to honor your own sensibilities, but um, I would err in this and on the side of simplicity. Okay, so um, contrast to scale. Think about contact information. You want to include it really discreetly. Maybe a QR code, a dummy QR code of some kind. Take a look at professional um, travel and leisure advertisement. To see uh, how that's handled. I'm going to move on to the uh, web banner next. Uh, Kelly, uh, your web banner looks uh, really nicely organized. As in the print ad, I can turn things on or off. Um, now, I, I'm missing fonts, and I'm thinking that uh, maybe this is bitmapped because of that, um, or perhaps you have it on its own layer. Let's see. Back it up and see how it goes. Okay, let me move this over. Now, clearly, uh, you know you want to match the typography of the print ad as closely as possible, and the, the two ads can inform each other. Um, some of the things I like about this are the asymmetry. I like the ovals rather than the circles. Uh, those probably should match. And think again about contrast to scale. Uh, no. You know, some of these shapes, these organic shapes, uh, maybe you could repeat and, you know, maybe not have them so um, symmetrical. Now, in terms of movement, uh, <clears throat> you probably have discovered this, but you can add what's called tweening. This may not appear, appeal to you, and that is uh, transition uh, frames. I'm just going to put um, five in here. And, you know, it, by making them very short duration, and many of them, uh, you can create the uh, 
effect of you know smoother transitions. And so, and there are three parameters that you can change: transparency, position, and I think shape. Um, I like your use of the social media, and it's sort of implied that by clicking on the web banner, um, you'll be taken to a website. So take a look at these side by side, the two ads, and see what you can do to uh, make them parallel for their respective media. Uh, think about contrast to scale, and apply the same typography on both of them. Um, you know, maybe pick something other than this. Consider using Arial, the corporate typeface.